okay welcome back to another series of lectures of thermal engineering of ktu uh, at present we are discussing module 1 steam nozzle and we will do the derivation of the velocity of steam nozzle now you know that as an assumption we take the flow through the nozzle is isentropic entropy is constant throughout the flow in the nozzle just because of simplicity we do that now these are the assumptions in a nozzle flow assumptions in a nozzle flow steam is expanded isentropically in the nozzle steam enters the nozzle with high pressure and a negligible velocity it leaves the nozzle with high velocity with a low pressure no heat transfer during the flow through nozzle and no work through the nozzle boundary these are the few assumptions that we take now let us consider we are going to the derivation of the velocity of nozzle uh, steam through the nozzle let us take v1 as the velocity of steam at the inlet of nozzle v2 velocity of steam at the throat of nozzle v3 the velocity of steam at the exit s h1 enthalpy of steam entering nozzle h2 enthalpy of steam at the throat of the nozzle now new one and new two let us be, let it be the specific volume at the inlet and throat of the nozzle new three the specific volume at the exit of the nozzle h3 the enthalpy of steam at the exit now the density of uh, steam at any point can be determined by 1 by nu that reciprocal of the re specific volume now pressure p is equal to uh, it is taken in pascals m dot is the mass flow rate of the steam through the nozzle now let us consider the steady flow energy equation that we studied in uh, thermodynamics now here the steady flow energy equation is h1 v1 square by 2 z1 in g plus change in dq by dm equal to h2 v2 square by 2 plus is a 2g into dw by dm now here the heat transfer and the work transfer we already told is zero the random zero aidu und ee rendu terms eliminate cheyum then z1 and z2 are also same that is also eliminate now the equation reduces to h1 v1 square by 2 equal to h2 v2 square by 2 from this v2 square by 2 is equal to h1 minus h2 plus v1 square by 2 now the exit velocity or the velocity at the throat v2 square equal to 2 into h1 minus h2 that is plus v1 square then if we take the root of the hold the term on the rhs we get the exit velocity the, or the velocity at a section 2 that is the throat now normally h1 and h2 are given in kilojoule per kilogram that we need to convert to joule per kilogram so that for that we multiply it with a 10 raised to 3 we get the velocity term like this now for convergent divergent convergent nozzle if v1 is negligible that is the inlet velocity is negligible then we avoid the term of the v1 in the velocity of the velocity v2 for convergent divergent nozzle for convergent divergent nozzle we have three section we have considered three sections section 1 section 2 and section 3 now here section 3 is the exit of the nozzle so the velocity of steam at the exit of the nozzle will be root of 2 into h1 minus h3 into 10 raised to 3 plus v1 square if v1 is negligible then we avoid that term 
we get the term as v3 equal to that is root of 2 into h1 minus h3 into 10 raised to 3. So what we can understand is we can find the exit velocity at the when if we know the change in enthalpy of the steam as it flows from inlet to exit. Thank you. Thank you.